everyone, Reefer Gill here. Please excuse the voice. I am battling a uh, cold right now, but hopefully I'll be able to get through this video. Want to do a real quick video on battery backup systems for your system's pumps. In my case, I am running an MP40 and in the future we'll be running an MP10 on the opposite side. So I went out and purchased this battery backup exclusively for the MP series pumps. This pump here will uh, continuously run when the power goes out a single MP40 for approximately 36 hours and then the more pumps that are put on this unit or daisy chained to the battery backup the hours obviously will start to drop. This unit here costs about $165. It is exclusively only to be used with the Ecotec Marine pumps, MP10, MP20, MP40, and so forth. However, if you're running a different style of pump, that's okay too. I would highly recommend that if you're able to afford a UPS, which is, uh, you can purchase one uh, for a bit cheaper than this Ecotec battery backup. You can grab a UPS machine from an electronics store. They're typically used to run computers when the power outage goes out, but you can most definitely use them to run one or two pumps in your system in the event the power goes out. Originally, I did go that route. I purchased a UPS because it was cheaper. However, I only I found that I only got about an hour, two hour runtime out of a full charge UPS system. Um, so I wanted to have that peace of mind that it, I can go a lot longer than a couple hours and with this Ecotec battery backup, like I said, one MP40 will take me to 36 hours. The more units that you start daisy chaining to the battery backup, it's gonna start drawing more power and thus that 36 hours is gonna start to drop as well. Okay, let's go over what you get when you purchase the Ecotec battery backup. It's very simple. You get the back backup system itself. You get two cords to plug in uh, two separate Ecotec series pumps. In my case, the MP40 and then later the MP10. And then you also get the power supply to run power to the battery backup. Uh, this end's gonna connect at the bottom and this other end's gonna obviously go into the wall. Pretty simple, what is that? Four pieces that you get with the system and I'll go ahead and show you uh, how I'm gonna set this up. Here's the Ecotec battery backup mounted to the outside of the right side of my tank. I may have not mentioned this earlier, but this battery backup is extremely heavy. It's about 25 pounds and it's pretty bulky too. It's pretty large as you can see it sticking out of the uh, side of my tank here. It does not come with any screws, but it does come with three slots on each side for screws. You can see I screwed it in there and also on the other side here. And then the only two connections are at the bottom here. One for the power to this unit and one goes out to the MP40 power head. And then uh, there's an LED light here. Um, that's the plug, the power plug for this. And it's currently green, which means it's fully charged. I did plug it in overnight and let it charge. It was red initially. Let's take a look at the MP40 power head connection. Here's where the other end of the battery backup ca uh, cable is gonna go. It's gonna go right here into your MP40, in my case, the MP40 controller. This slot right here was vacant. You can see a little bit of the plug is exposed right in there. So don't try to grab this plug and jam it all the way in there. It's supposed to be exposed like this. So we'll go ahead and do a blackout test and uh, see if this thing works and how it works. Okay, you can see that the MP40 is currently in normal operation mode. I believe the yellow is reef crest. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down or shut down the power to the system and see what this does. Currently the entire system is shutting down. The MP40 itself is on. If I am not mistaken, when the LEDs all the way up over to the right like this, it means that it's uh, the battery backup is fully charged. As the battery backup depletes its um, power, it'll start trickling down uh, by way of uh, showing you on the LED display there. Come up here and we'll show you the MP40 is on. 
You can tell by the ripples on the uh, surface there. So everything appears to be good. I just wanted to make a quick point. I'm running the Apex. With the Apex, I have this WXM modem. The modem communicates wirelessly with the MP40. You can see that I can still have full control of the uh, MP40 using the Apex. Right now it's turned off. I'll turn it back on to auto. And you can see it turns back on. Again, I'll turn it off. And the uh, MP40 will turn off without defaulting its power source to the battery backup. I want to show you the way I have my MP40 programmed with the Apex unit. You could see that it's on fallback uh, reef crest set off. It was on set on. When it was on set on, uh, when I would go into feed modes or try to do the feed mode to do water changes, the pump continually ran despite its command to turn off because it was on set on. So I changed it to set off. And then you can see the different times and intervals of different cycles that the pump goes through during the day. At the bottom you'll see uh, feed A, uh, then night. So it'll run real slowly for when it's feeding. And then feed B is what I have set for it to turn completely off for water changes. The reason I bring all of this up is because although it works just fine with the Apex unit and the WXM, if you don't have the WXM or you're running a different aquarium controller, you may actually run into a problem uh, using this battery backup for your MP40. Not necessarily a problem, but it may add an extra step for you when you go into your feed modes or water changes. You may go into your feed mode and find out that your MP40 is continually running because even though you turn off its power, it's now taking power from the battery backup. So you may have the extra step of going to the battery backup and having to unplug it. It's just uh, food for thought in case you're uh, thinking about buying this. You may want to do a little bit more research to see how you can circumvent that potential issue. But for now, in my head, that's what I'm thinking would happen. I wanted to clarify that the Vortec battery backup is not a substitute for UPS for your Apex unit. In other words, you cannot use this battery backup here to connect to your EB-8 of your Apex so that you'll be able to be sent a notification that the power has gone out of your house. In order to do that, you'll need to have a UPS system. I do plan to purchase a small uh, UPS system that will stay on for a few minutes after the power has gone off. A um, few minutes just long enough for the Apex unit to be able to send me a text and a email indicating that the power has gone off at my house and alerting me to that uh, issue. In a typical home, when a power outage occurs, the first thing that's going to take the life of our livestock is going to be the lack of oxygen exchange that occurs in our system. Having a battery backup to continually run your power heads and maintain a surface agitation is going to ensure that oxygen exchange it continually occurs thus allowing your livestock and fish to survive through a lengthy power outage. When you consider the investment that we make with our fish and our corals, it can get pretty pricey when you start adding everything up. So when you consider a battery backup, just consider it another piece of insurance for your system to continually run when those power outages uh, occur at your home. That'll conclude this video. I do have my one year anniversary update coming up on my system itself so stay tuned for that. Otherwise thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.